Hey everyone, and welcome to a game called Psychopathy Assessment. In this new psychological horror game that merges analog horror with free roam gameplay, you will step into the shoes of a truly sick and twisted individual. Before you start the game, you must agree to an in-game waiver so be ready for what's to come. You will analyze a police interview, identify threats, and commit a gruesome crime. This is the full playthrough of Psychopathy Assessment. The examination will Ooh, okay, this is one of those pre-recorded assessments. To the psychopathy assessment. Here at we're yeah, conducting damn, this survey to so provide hard. you with an insightful evaluation. Please note that all data will be processed through our automated systems to deliver, ac to deliver accurate results. Keep in mind that this test is not a medically approved diagnosis. Oh yeah, I'm already getting a, a bad feeling from this game. For assessment, we recommend consulting with a psychiatrist. Before we proceed with the main test, we need to perform a personality check to filter and analyze your data effectively. We'll ask you a few questions, and based on your responses, You'll be assigned a personality type. All right, ask me any question. I'm an open book. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on though. Why is this the first question? Do you believe in God? Now, I'm not sure if the decisions I make right now will dictate the rest of the story, but I feel like I need to be careful with the options I choose. Now, I feel like this is the first question because the game wants me to say yes. It's the safest option. It's the one that would make me feel the most comfortable. So we're going to say no. Yeah, we're going no. Bro, why is this the second question? Have you ever heard unexplained noises at night? Bro, I am getting so uncomfortable right now. Yes. Yes, actually, every night. Probably not a good thing. Do you think evil exists in everyone? Now, I actually think this is a good question. I'd like to think that nobody is born inherently evil. I think it's our circumstances and how we were brought up that kind of shape who we are in the future. But at the same time, there are people that have everything, and they're just bad people. So I'm going to say not sure. I'm in between. Do you think science can explain everything? That's also a pretty thought-provoking question. Okay, but I think there are some things that just can't be explained, so I'm going to go not sure. Have you ever felt uneasy during a religious ceremony? Ooh. Now, it's been a long time since I've been to any type of religious ceremony. I think the last time is when I was a little kid. And I don't really remember what the experience was like, so I'm going to go not sure. <laughs> have you have you ever felt a shadowy figure watching you? Bro, I got my green screen behind me, and I feel like I'm going to see something like peeking up from the corner. Bro, I'm going to say yes, because I feel this all the time. Have you ever felt drawn to a specific place for no reason? Are these like standard questions they ask during these tests? I'm going to say yes, because it's true. Damn. Do you believe that the ends justify the means? That is actually another good question. Oh, that's actually a hard question. I don't want to dive too deep into it. I'm going to say not sure. We're here to play the game. Have you ever experienced a spiritual awakening? Ooh. Damn, I wouldn't say spiritual, but I've definitely had my eyes open to certain things, so I'm gonna go not sure. Do you believe that dying is a form of liberation? Uh, that's a tough question. I don't really know if I want to answer that question. Uh, I'm gonna just say no. I'm gonna say no. Have you ever felt? Have you ever encountered an object that felt charged with energy? I'm gonna say no for this one. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by scientific knowledge? No, I think knowledge is a good thing. I'm just say no. Do you fear the unknown? That is actually a good question because you don't know where you're going to be at life. You know, you don't know what's going to happen five years, 10 years, 20 years from now. So I'm going to say yes. Your personality type is seven. ENFJ. The, the protagonist. protagonist. Oh, yeah. Charismatic and altruistic. Oh, yeah, I agree with they that one. natural born leaders who are genuinely interested in the well-being and growth of others. All right, you'll be undergoing another test of focus and attention. You'll be given a police interview, and you must stay focused and engaged throughout. The interview is between Officer Thompson and Ooh. Mike Paris. Ooh. Okay, press space to pause and unpause the interview. All right, here we go, everybody. Mike Perez is at the police station reporting his girlfriend's sudden and mysterious disappearance. Officer Thompson, who's taking his statement, behaves in an unnervingly calm and suspicious manner. Hinting that he may know more than he lets on. Oh yeah, Officer Thompson is shady for sure. Oh, 
bro the not the music Officer Thompson. All right, Mr. Perez, let's start from the top. You say your girlfriend's been missing for how long now? It's been two days. She didn't come home. Didn't call or text. That's not like her at all. Two days, huh? Thompson leaned back in his chair, a slow smirk barely forming on his lips. Well, sometimes people just need space, Mike. You sure she didn't just, you know, take a break from things? Frustrated, Mike shakes his head. Yeah, I'd be mad too. This dude is so unprofessional. No, you don't get it. She wouldn't just disappear without saying anything. Something's wrong. I can feel it. I need you guys to help me find her. Of course, we're here to help. He scribbles something lazily on his notepad, not even looking up. Did she ever talk about leaving? Maybe something personal going on you didn't know about? His tone casual, but there's an unsettling undertone, like he's steering the conversation. No, we were fine. No fights, no problems. This isn't like her at all. He taps his pen on the desk, his eyes narrowing slightly as he studies Mike. People can surprise you, Mike. You think you know someone and then poof, they're gone. Bro, I would have to fight this dude right now if he was saying some bullshit like that. He smirks, but the look is the look in his eyes is cold. Trust me, these things happen more often than you think. Mike, do something. Mike is getting agitated. Are you even listening to me? This is serious. She's missing. Oh, I'm listening very closely. <laughs> this dude is a dick. He finally looks up, locking eyes with Mike. His gaze lingering a little too long. You must be pretty worried, huh? I mean, not knowing where she is, what's happened to her? Bro, who says something like that? His voice lowers, almost a whisper. Or who might have taken her? Oh yeah, we would have to fight right then and there. Prez freezes, the way Thompson said it, sending a chill down his spine. What? What do you mean by that? Do you know something? His voice shakes, unsure whether Thompson is hinting at something or just messing with him. A slow, deliberate smile spreads across Thompson's face, but it doesn't reach his eyes. Am I about to get jump scared by something? Just saying, Mike. People don't vanish into thin air. Someone always knows something. He leans forward slightly, voice smooth, almost mocking. You ever think maybe you just weren't paying enough attention? What do you mean by that? What are you getting at? Are you suggesting I did something to her? No, no, relax. Just playing devil's advocate. After all, we are just having a friendly conversation, right? Bro, nothing about this has been friendly. You were worried, I get that. But sometimes people go missing for reasons we don't want to see. You're talking in circles, man. Do you know where she is or not? We're just trying to figure or we're just trying to figure things out, Mike. Piece by piece, but sometimes the truth, well, it hides in plain sight, doesn't it? Cool. This man is alluding to something. Maybe you should be asking yourself what you missed. What the hell are you trying to say? If you know something, you better tell me. Mike, we're here to help you, but be careful where you point your finger. Yeah. 
sometimes the people closest to you aren't who they seem, and sometimes... Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm about to get jump scared. People disappear for a reason. Bro. What do you mean by that? His voice trembles, feeling trapped by Thompson's cryptic words. Like I said, Mike, we're just figuring things out, but don't worry. We'll find her. One way or another. This has got to take place during, like, the 90s or something. You just focus on what's right in front of you. So, Officer Thompson. Hold on. Mike presses room later that night. Can you see it? Congratulations. You're a quarter of the way through the test. In the next second, was that Thompson? You need to distinguish between threats and non-threats and rank their severity level. Okay. You're doing an excellent job. Oh yeah, I'm locked so in far. now. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of me too. Thank you. Threat. Is that Mike? Ooh. Uh. What is it? I'll oh, say it goes up to ten. I'm gonna go three. He doesn't seem like he's a threat. It's just a normal photo. I don't like the way it sat on my screen for too long. Ooh, what is that in the back? What is that? Ooh, uh, I don't know. Five? We're going five. I'm getting scared. Okay, not a threat. We're going to stay at one. Now, the problem with analog horror games is it's not like walking simulators. So when something pops up in a simulator, like, it'll go away usually. In these, something will sit on your screen for a minute before it goes away. So we're gonna go one. I'm not ready, man. Ooh. Threat? Is that Officer Thompson? Oh yeah, he's definitely gotta be a 10. Yeah, he's a 10 for sure. I feel like something is watching me. <laughs> Bro, that shit gotta be a threat. Gotta keep that stick on me, okay? It looks like a normal dude. All right, I'm going to go one. Ooh. Oh, that's from that uh, image we saw when it was in Mike's room. We're going 10. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going 10. Please get off my screen. Threat. What is that sound? What is that sound? I can't see nothing. I'm just going to say a 10. I got chills down my spine. Whoa! Oh my gosh, get off my screen. Please, please, please. Please, bro. This is what I was talking about. You are the threat. Bro, come on. You are the threat. Do not trust your eyes. They lie to you. That was too much for me to digest. Threat recognition score, 29.1. Oh, too bad, you can do better. I mean, I thought I was doing pretty good. Congratulations. We have six more questions for you to help determine your level of psychopathy. Please keep in mind that our test is not medically approved. Something's However, popping up on my screen. The data and percentages are derived from- There's like a video in the background. I don't know if you guys could see that. Would you ever destroy something beautiful just to see it break? Bro, I was a heartbreaker back in the day. Okay, so... Alright, maybe I shouldn't say yes. I'm gonna say no. I shouldn't be like that. Too old for that. Do you ever find yourself smiling at someone's misfortune? Damn. Bro, all the time when I'm playing Call of Duty, yes. Absolutely. Would you harm someone just to prove a point? Damn, man, what are these questions? Oh man, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no. My moral compass is better than that. Would you manipulate someone's emotions just to see them suffer? I gotta say no, okay? I feel like if I say yes, I'm gonna get the worst outcome. Do you ever feel empty inside when others around you are joyful? Actually, I'm gonna go yes. 27.6%. You are normal. Okay, so that's good. Thanks for completing the psychopathy test. Completed. The data was sent to redacted. Receive your documents. 
Oh, okay. Oh, are we about to do free roam? There's no way this game is free roam. Oh, look at that. What was this shit? The psychopathy test was beyond messed up. <laughs> okay, so our character's talking. My time is wasted. Screw it. Tonight, I'm diving back into reality to test out my new hobby. What do you mean by that kind, sir? Okay. All right, so what? I got to go do my new hobby? What is that ambience in the background? Before I leave, I must finish eating. All right, what is this? Am I supposed to drink this? A soda can? Got a Shasta? I got to sit here and, like, actually drink it. Hey, now what is this we have? A bucket of Jollibee chicken? Is that what that is? Okay, let's eat it. Well, better than on an empty stomach. Okay, here we go. So I think I can leave the room now? I need to start eating healthier. Okay, let me look around. I like that it has like a VHS look. Oh, this is the bat. What? Wait, hold on. Is that blood? Oh my gosh, no way. Oh yeah, I am so uncomfortable right now. All right, let me leave here. I think we're going to have to come back at some point. What do we have? Oh, what is this? A kitty? Ooh. Can I pet you? I don't think I like that. All right, what is in here? Do we have a living room? I'm turn on the TV. No. And turn on the TV. What else do we have? Front door. The okay, character said I can't leave now. Can I open any of these closets? Got a little tune going. I'll check this later. So we can't go in that room yet. We have an upstairs area. What is this? I'll check this later. Okay. I think we pretty much looked everywhere we can look. So what is our objective right now? Am I supposed to do anything in the bedroom? Holy fuck. What? What? I have to go to the toilet urgently? Oh my gosh. Please tell me I don't have to do a shitting minigame. Children, cover your eyes, please. Press space to shit. Bro, what is this game? Ooh, not the sound effects. Okay, I have to wipe my ass and wash my hands. I didn't, like, wipe it when I was sitting down. There is no way. What, do I just wash my hands now? Wash your hands, okay. He said, I, he said I have to wipe my ass and wash my hands, but he had already stood up. All right, so I feel like we're just your average individual, okay? We live alone. I cannot leave. Is my game bugged? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Am I supposed to do anything in here? Am I supposed to... Bro, I was supposed to wipe my ass still? Bro, I was scraping his shit up right now. I finally feel liberated. Ha ha. But I can't shake this thought. Why is the ambience picking up? Why do I always speak alone? It's actually a good question. Whispers echo around you. You are never alone. We are always here with you. Bro, what is happening? I'm not losing my mind, all right? Are you talking to me? Whispers surround you. You are perfectly fine. Don't be afraid. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, sh <laughs> shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Leave me alone. What is happening? Please. What is happening right now? Do I need to, like, lay down? Is it my bedtime? Oh, the phone's going off. Okay. Let me answer this. Thompson. Oh, we are Officer Thompson. Oh, wait. No, we're not. It's done. No one's asking questions yet. But I've got to know. What exactly are you planning to do with Jane? Ooh, Jane, okay. Oh, don't you worry, officer. I got it all figured out. She's in a nice, quiet place where she won't be running off to Perez anymore. Oh my gosh. No more late night meetings behind my back? You always were the jealous type, but this? I didn't think you had it in you. I'm not just going to keep her tied up. That's too easy. 
She needs to feel what she's done. Just make sure this doesn't lead back to us. Press has been asking around. He's getting suspicious. Oh, I'm not worried about Mike. I'll deal with him soon enough. Damn, okay. As for Jane, well, I've got a few games in mind. Let's just say she won't know what's real anymore. By the time I'm done, she'll be begging me to stop. Or maybe to finish it. You are sick, but I respect it. Bro, what? Just don't drag me into it any deeper than I am, alright? I've covered you this far, but there are limits. You've already crossed those limits, Thompson. Now we are both in this together. You keep covering me and everything stays quiet. Got it? Damn, this man is calling the shots. Yeah, I got it. Good, now I've got to go. Jane's waiting for me and she's going to learn the hard way that no one betrays me. Damn, we must be playing as an ex-boyfriend. This night, the game will start. Gerald's game. Just be careful. That was actually insane. I knew the cop was in on it. I'm tired already. I have to sleep early. This night will be long and fun. Okay, let me go get a bed night's rest before I go do heinous things to Jane. All right. I can't sleep with my computer on. Okay. Good man. Saving power. That's how you know he's a serial killer. He had no pillows on his bed. The following events contain strong emotional content. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Time, 2.49 a.m. This game is about to have me thinking I'm a serial killer in real life, man. I don't like shit like this. Oh, okay. Here we go. So I'm going to assume I have to go to that room upstairs? Or I think there was a room downstairs. Let me check. Let me check the downstairs real quick. Not now. Okay, never mind. So upstairs we go. Oh my gosh, dude. I got a bad feeling about this. We did not go in this room earlier. Oh my gosh, no way. No way. Please don't tell me I'm about to do stuff to her. Please don't tell me I have to do things to her. Oh my god. This gotta be Jane. Talk with Jane. You are awake. Good. I was starting to worry. How are you feeling? Oh, wait, you're taped. Give me a second. Oh, I gotta take it off. My fault, y'all. Oh. Please, what is this? Why are you doing this? Just let me go. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. You don't need to be so scared. I didn't bring you here to hurt you. We just need to talk. Talk. You tied me up. This, this isn't you. I don't understand. Yo, kids, cover your eyes if you're watching this. It is me, Jane. You just never took the time to see it. I've been nothing but good to you, haven't I? But lately, you've been distant, distracted. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for things to get so complicated. Please, just let me go. We can work this out, I promise. Oh my gosh. Oh, I know. I know you're sorry. But you see, it's not that simple anymore. You made a choice, Jane. You thought you could hide it. Thought I wouldn't notice you sneaking off with Mike. I'm getting so uncomfortable. No, no, it wasn't like that. We were just... Friends? Lovers? It doesn't matter now. You lied, Jane. And lies, well, they have consequences. Jane, I'm sorry, okay? This is the this is the character, not me doing this to you. Oh my gosh. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to pick an item? Oh no, please. Jane, what are you doing? Please, let's just talk. 
Like you said, we can fix this. I'll do anything. Just please. Please don't make me do this. Please. Fix. Mm, that's interesting word. You know, I've always been good with my hands. I always like fixing things. Making things... Or making them better. No, please. You don't have to do this. I'm begging you. Please. I'll never see him again. Oh, Jane. This isn't about Mike anymore. It's about us. Making things right between us. Jane, I am so sorry. And I'm going to help you understand what you've done. But beforehand, maybe some good music would ease the tension. Oh my gosh, please. I don't want to play a song. Please, I do not want to play music. Game, please don't make me do this. Oh yeah, that's better. Classical music is perp er, perfect for this game we'll play. I know, maybe we're too old for playing games. Sometimes I feel like a child, even though I'm 30. It makes me feel alive. I, I don't even know what that says. Where were we at? You see, Jane, you broke something. Something important. And now I have to fix it. Don't worry, I'll be gentle at first. After all, we wouldn't want to rush things, would we? You should have been more careful with my heart, Jane. Please, please, it is not worth it. We don't have to do this. Now it's my turn to be careful with you. Please don't make me do this. I'm actually shaking right now. Please don't make me do it. Please, Jane, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, do I really have to pick? Please, please, please. Power drill? No, 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 no. Please don't make me do it. Please. Oh my gosh, Jane. We're gonna do the side. I'm gonna try to make this as comfortable as possible. No, no, no. No. Please, please don't make me do it. Jane, I am so sorry. Guys, cover your eyes right now. Guys, I don't like this game. I don't even want to read no more. You guys can read. I'm like shaking right now, bro. I don't like playing as the bad guy. All those nights wondering where you were, who you were with. I couldn't sleep, couldn't think. You made me feel so small, so helpless. And now, well, now you understand, don't you? This is what betrayal feels like. This is what you did to me, but worse. <laughs> Bro, there is no way you're trying to justify what just happened. Because of your lies, they were like little drills eating away at me, bit by bit. You don't have to be afraid anymore. You've been punished. And I've forgiven you. Jane, I'm sorry, my dear. I can't even look at you anymore. I'll have to dispose your body somewhere. Damn, she died? Let's check the tool table and see what I can do. Bro, there is no way. Do I have to cut her up? Oh my god, please don't make me do it. Axe! There is no way. There is no way. Hit! Oh my god, what am I playing? Jane, I'm sorry, okay? It's the game, not me. Oh. Oh, the sounds. Oh, it's the, just the gushing. Okay, how many times do I have to mutilate? Why did she just fall apart like Legos? I'll put her parts in the bag. 
Oh my gosh, Jane, rest in peace. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I didn't even read like half those dialogue lines. Like, I just couldn't. Okay, I was too in shock. 5.15 a.m. Hillswood Forest. Okay, let's just get rid of the body, bro. I'm so over this game. Press C to switch cameras. Oh. Oh, shit. Do I gotta drive? Bro, driving on mouse and keyboard is so bad. Okay, can I speed up? This is kind of a good change of pace. I must find the perfect place to get rid of her, bro. Don't say it like that. I was so lucky that the police didn't stop me during this drive. Can't believe it came to this. You really pushed me, didn't you, Jane? Uh, I have no idea where I'm going right now. I try to be understanding. I really did. Bro, driving on the keys is fucking horrible. Let me go this way. You should have known better to think you could play with my heart and not face the consequences. You should feel honored, you know. Most people just vanish, but I'm giving you a proper goodbye. <laughs> we just hacked her into pieces and we're burying her. It's time for you to rest. No more lies. No more running around. Just peace. 5.43 a.m. Graveyard. Graveyard? Is there multiple bodies? Have I done this before? Oh, this is an actual graveyard. Okay. Finally here after so long. What the hell is this? Let me get the sack and shovel from the truck. Okay. How do I, uh, how do I grab it? Good jump. Take items. Great. Now let's find a good spot to bury this. I'm not saying that last word. I'm not saying it. I chose this cemetery. Who would suspect that I buried her here next to other dead bodies? All right. Is this a spot? Place body. What? How? Bro, this is so sloppy. How do I chop her up into bits, but still, like, shape it as a body? All right. Shut <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thompson, what the hell are you doing here? So that's Thompson? I could ask you the same thing. I didn't mean this. Do you know what kind of mess you were drag or you dragged us into? I had no choice. I had to finish it. She was becoming a liability. I did what I had to do. She was going to ruin everything. You were burying her in the middle of the goddamn forest for crying out loud. I feel like that'd be a good spot. Did you think no one would find out? You promised me, Thompson. You said you'd take care of it. We are in this together, remember? Yeah, I did say that. But you've crossed the line. You know, fuck yeah, Thompson. The change of moral compass. You can't be serious. After everything I've done for you, all those favors. This isn't about favors anymore. It's about survival. All right, never mind. Maybe Thompson is still shady. You've become a liability more than she ever was. You can't do this. You know what happens if I go down? I'll take you with me. I'll tell them everything. And who do you think they're going to believe? Oh, he's pulling the cop card. A decorated officer or a psychopath caught burying a body? You've lost, and the sooner you realize that, the better. You bastard, you can't do this to me. We had a deal. The deal's off. You've pushed too far, and now I've got no choice. It's you or me, and I'm not going down because you couldn't keep your head straight. Last night, authorities arrested a man in connection with the brutal murder of 20-year-old Jane Miller, whose body was discovered in a remote forest. The suspect, Jane's boyfriend, was caught by Officer Thomas Thompson while attempting to bury her. Investigators believe the murder was triggered by a confrontation over Jane's affair with another man. 
Disturbingly, Officer Thompson, who made the arrest, is now under scrutiny for allegedly covering up the suspect's earlier crimes. While he ultimately detained the suspect, an internal investigation is underway regarding Thompson's potential corruption. Jane, a beloved local artist, suffered horrific torture before her death, with a power drill believed to have been used in the attack. The suspect is being held without bail, and a trial is expected to follow soon. Our town is left in shock as we mourn Jane's tragic death and await justice. Courtroom. 11.55 a.m. Ooh. After careful deliberation, it's abundantly clear that your actions were premeditated, brutal, and without any regard for human life. The, ev the evidence presented leaves no room for doubt. Your intent was not to only murder Jane, Killer, or Jane Miller, but to inflict unimaginable suffering upon her. You had every opportunity to stop, to seek help, but instead you chose a path of violence, driven by hatred and jealousy. This court cannot overlook the severity of your crime, nor the danger you pose to society if left unpunished. Your attempts to cover up your heinous act only further demonstrate your lack of remorse and your disregard for the law. Hell yeah, hit this man with the book. Therefore, it is the decision of this court that you be sentenced to death by electrical chair. Fuck yeah. May this sentence reflect the gravity of your action and serve as justice for the life you so cruelly took. You will be transferred to death row, where you will await your execution in accordance with state law. I wonder what state this takes place in. This is the final judgment of this course. May you reflect on your sins in the time you have left. Court is adjourned. Hell yeah. I'm so glad it ended this way. I kind of wanted Thompson to go down too. But, you know, we got one of them. Please, you got the wrong man. I didn't do it. You don't understand. I was set up. Thompson, he knows. He knows the truth. I swear, I didn't kill her. I've never hurt anyone in my life. Bro, I've watched you do these things. We played through it together. Please, you've got to believe me. This isn't how it's supposed to end. They are out there. The real killers. Thompson. He's covering it up. Don't flip that switch. I'm innocent. You're killing an innocent man. Oh, now, nah, fuck that. Flip that switch. Three. Two. Oh, my gosh. One. Hello? Why did he wait so long? Is that normal? Do they close the curtain? I thought the whole point was so people could see it. In a shocking turn of events, justice has been served in the brutal murder of Jane Miller, a case that has rocked our community. Wait, is that Mike? Responsible for her death was finally apprehended and has been sentenced to death. Did I miss something? The arrest was made possible. There is no way. Officer Thomas there is no way. Who caught the suspect while attempting to Thompson, it's done, right? Mike's gone? The suspect was promptly charged and stood charged. You better believe it. Where the overwhelming evidence pointed to his guilt. Despite his initial claim... Perez took the chair like a real stiff. There is no way we just lost. You're clear. Following revelations of an affair between... There is no way. During the trial... I still can't believe he pulled it off. The whole world thinks he's the killer. And me? I'm free. Which left the jury and public in shock. That's right. Covered every loose end. Every bit of dirt. There is no way that just ended that way. Yeah, I know. But, man. The scare you gave me in the forest? Not funny. I thought you were actually going to betray me. Cuff me right there. Betray you? Come on. You know, you know I've always got your back, but watching your face when I pulled off, or pulled up, priceless. Yeah, well, for a second there, I thought it was over. 
You had me thinking you turned me in. That wasn't part of the plan. I had to sell it, didn't I? If anyone was watching, they needed to believe I was doing my job. Didn't mean to freak you out too much. You did. Next time, keep the jokes to yourself. I wasn't sure if I'd end up in the chair, too. Nah, you're in the clear now. Mike took the fall. Like I said, you're safe. Good, let's keep it that way. No more close calls, no more surprises. Deal. But remember, you still owe me. I'll call in that favor when I need it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Bro, there is no way it just ended that way. There is no way, and I'm still playing as him? Oh my god. Don't tell me I gotta go in this room. This is the room we couldn't go in at the beginning. I'll check this later. I can't leave now. What am I supposed to be doing? 